let's look now at an example. So remember our barn stop filter. Example. Barn stop filter, which was H of Z and then one minus two cosine omega zero z2 minus 1 plus z2 minus 2 then just divide it with 1 minus and then 2r cosine omega 0 z2 minus 1 plus r square z2 minus 2 so so now we have got these different coefficients here so the one here this is our b0 coefficient in our convention from before so this here is our b1 coefficient here and then we've got here a 1 and this is our b2 coefficient and then the 1 would be is our a0 coefficient which is usually omitted and then this one is here our a1 coefficient and then we've got here our A2 coefficient for our filter setup. So we just need to substitute them in the in this filter. So that's what I've done in a IIR filter class here. So I've um, created a class called IIR notch and it's getting the frequency and the radius and then and then they are, if I just move it a bit to the side here, then we see here that they're initializing B0 to 1, and then the B1 here to the minus cosine omega 0, and I've done again the mistake here that I have not taken this here on board. So that's the, that's the B1 coefficient here, and then the B2 coefficient is here, that's 1 again, then the A0 coefficient is 1, the A1 coefficient is this minus 2R cosine co and cosine omega 0 and the omega is here 2 pi f and then the last term here A2, the R square, so I just do R multiplied by R here. So with that I initialize my coefficients here. What I also initialize is here the shift buffer, these two here, buffer 1 and buffer 2 and then what I do is I can send this directly through this filter operation what we discussed before so as a demonstration I've written a small program around this here which is called IRR demo which is doing nothing else than um, constructing this filter here so our ECG file is again sampling rate 1 kilohertz and we have a 50 hertz noise in this here. So we could just quickly have a look how this how the original looks like. Plot ECG 50 hertz dot TIT and, and we plot this using the second column with lines and we bring this quickly to the screen so that's the ECG which I used also in the FIR demo so we have got here our 50 Hertz noise in this ECG as before and so we would like to get rid of that and for this reason here so I've created this IR notch filter with with a normalized frequency of um, 50 Hertz so this normalized is here 50 divided by 1000 which is the sampling rate and then and so we, let's just quickly write this here down that this becomes clear so so in this case here our our omega is 2 pi omega 0 is um, 2 pi f and the f is in this case here 2 pi and then our 50 hertz divided by 
one kilohertz. And so that's our FS, our sampling rate, and this is our 50 hertz noise. Oops, that's a bit covered by the Emax here. I just move this a bit over. So that's our noise we would like to remove. And so, and so this program here works in the way that it's creating this filter, then it's just creating an impulse response we are not looking at. And so now we have, have here the operation which is reading this file, ECG 50 Hertz. Then we're creating another file descriptor for our filtered ECG. And then this is a main loop here, this one. And here in this in this loop, so we are running through this loop sample by sample. So we here at this at this step here obtain a sample. And then we just send this into our filter, filter the sample and save the sample. Simple as that. So therefore to see if this works, so I just need to need to run this program. So let's get rid of the Emacs for now and just do a make. So the make command here is generating us a file IIR demo. So I just I just start that. We see this is execution is more or less not visible, it is so fast. And now we should see here that there's a filtered ECG came out here, filtered ECG.dat. So we can plot that. Filtered ECG. And this should have only only one column as far as I know. Yeah. And and we plot this with lines. And so now the filtered version, the 50 hertz is completely removed and it looks pretty clean. So we see that our 50 Hz filter works perfectly well. Just coming back to our to our filter operation here. So we see that the filter operation of the IRR filter is extremely efficient. So we have only a few multiplications here and, um, and so we are getting the result within these few operations compared to the FIR filter where we had sometimes over 16,000 tabs. So therefore, in applications where computational time and also delay times need to be minimized, then the IRR filter is the filter of choice.